Hey folks, thank you for talking for here. I thought I'd give you a tip on how to cherry pick eBay. Let's type in Nikkor. Okie dokie, I only do buy it now. I'm too lazy for auctions. All the uh, schmucks out there that are always sniping things. Uh, go down to used as a parameter. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to sort through USA only. At least for me, anyway. And then I'm going to set a parameter. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, 25 bucks, typically there, to like 125. This time I set it at 150. Set that price range parameter. Type in newly listed. And I'll keep refreshing. Say if you're at work, keep refreshing going down the list and uh, if you refresh you know several times a day you'll see something pop up that's awesome that someone's selling for uh, way way cheap just too cheap and uh, you pounce on it right right um, you can also another little trick uh, that I'll do is uh, over here you'll have an item location uh, what I can do is I'll set like uh, 10 miles of my area code and nothing came up there that's because I had a price parameter set which I will clear uh, to say 600 and see what comes up and nothing came up this time. The 25 miles set my uh, set my parameter to 10 miles. Okay. See, so had a couple things come up, and what I'll do is uh, you can uh, send someone. Like if you see something pop up that's just like a few miles from you on eBay, you'll say, "Hey, look," you know, send them a uh, a note. Say, hey, uh, you know, how about saving you eBay fees and PayPal fees? I'm interested in what you got. I only lives a few miles from you. See, this one's less than five miles from me. Uh, I've, uh, you could snag some deals that way because you can save someone a lot of money by saving them PayPal and eBay fees and just say, hey, you know, I'll buy you cab, pay you cash for your gear and, uh, well, you can uh, find someone that's very close to you. Uh, this time there are only a couple people close to me, but I set my uh, range ten miles from my uh, from my uh, zip code. I said area code before; I meant zip code. So there are some of the tricks on I had a snag on eBay. Just remember to keep refreshing and uh, resetting. Reset your parameters. See what you want to spend on a lens. Like I said, type in Nikkor is what I do. Go down. Use lenses only. Say I want a price parameter of uh, like uh, 33 bucks to 150 bucks. Okay, that's fine. And uh, I want to choose USA only. Then I want to buy it now only. Then I'll go over here to newly listed. And you just keep clicking the refresh button. And inevitably something awesome will pop up and you pounce. You go pounce on it. And it's yours. You've made, uh, saved yourself a lot of money. So that's the little angry photographer trick of the day for hunting and stalking on eBay. Most people don't think of this, and it's a great way to snag a deal. The only catch is you got to be refreshing, you know, several times a day, and uh, especially on Fridays and weekends when everybody else is out partying. Uh, you're refreshing the screen. You can snag someone where nobody. Very, very few people are looking. So, thanks for watching, and this is another video tip and trick on how to hunt smarter on eBay. Thanks for watching.